All right, guys, so here we are. We're uh, back at the Blind Tiger Butcher Shop and Seafood Market in wonderful Pasco Stand, Mississippi, right here on the Gulf of Mexico. Um, today, we um, are going to show you fresh salmon. We're going to cut it, fillet it, make sure it doesn't have any bones. We're going to show you what we do with the scraps, and Chef Joey's going to whip up um, one of the specials that we're going to create for the rest of that we've already created. He's just going to show you what we're going to do with it. So again, you know, this is our, our restaurant prep facility and we sell retail to the public here in the market. But what we do is we try to control our cost and quality. Uh, everything, if we tell you it's fresh, it's fresh, okay? We're not buying frozen salmon and thawing it in the sink. Um, this is fresh farm-raised salmon. Heart healthy, women love it, I like it. My kids even eat it. Um, but when it's fresh, it's at its best, and it will never be better than when it's fresh. So if it's frozen, we don't, we just don't mess with it. Our restaurants don't have freezers. Um, but I'll, I, you know, again, that's conversation for another time. But we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna cut 12 sides of salmon this morning, and we're gonna send the portions to three of our restaurants. Um, we order this stuff and it comes packed in ice. And I mean, look how pretty this is, you know? I mean, look at that. I mean, that is sushi bar quality salmon that we're talking about here. This is not, again, frozen, sitting in a deep freezer somewhere in a big warehouse. Um, you know, and it's tempting. I mean, there's more money to be made with frozen IQF portioned seafood but at the end of the day you know we just don't think that that's going to keep customers coming back repeat customers coming back um, and most of our locations are not tourist traps so we have to appeal to locals and even out of town locals that are in town every weekend we consider them locals but it's the same people coming to town every weekend you know we're not in Walt Disney World or Universal Studios or on the pier in Chicago, you know, this is more of a local tourist market. Um, so anyway, we start, we come here, we cut the uh, belly out. We square it up to the back of the filet. And you know what else is interesting is, you know, like my wife, and some of her friends, you know, they go to Walmart. Walmart actually sells fresh salmon, the whole loin. And you know, we had a party at my house the other night and one of the women is like, oh my God, you bought that salmon at Walmart. And I said, yeah, I did. I said, it's actually a good product. She goes, well, I mean, I'd, I'd love to buy it. I just don't know how to clean it. And so I actually taught her how to clean it in my kitchen. And she goes, you know what? Now I can buy sides of salmon. I said, yeah, of course, it's not hard. So what I do, I like to come to the back and just cut straight to the skin. And then you get it started with your fillet knife. And then you go to the slicer. And you just put pressure down, you bend it, see the, the blade bending, and then you just slice. You hold the skin tight. You, you just put downward pressure on the blade. And then there you have it. So when you fillet a fish, just put pressure down. That's all you're doing. And you know, I mean, my my ten-year-old can do it, and so can anybody else. Then look, how, I mean, look how pretty that is, you know. So we like to square the ends up, get rid of that, and we get rid of this last little tail piece because that's real flat. Normally in the restaurants that little end flat part will burn. Okay, so here we're just going to cut nice portions. As you go up the, the fillet gets thicker up by the head of the fish so you don't have to make them as long. But I mean look at that. It's a beautiful little product. And then we'll cut this one in half. There you have it. One, two, three, four. We have five portions ready to roll. We've got 12 loins. 
We should get somewhere around 60 portions today. And we'll send 20 to uh, three of our kitchens in Biloxi, Bay St. Louis, and Slidell. So while I'm cutting and cleaning, we're gonna let Chef Joey get ready and we're gonna show you one of the Blind Tiger lunch specials um, with fresh salmon. Folks, here we are again at the uh, TBT Commissary Kitchen. Thomas has just cut me a beautiful piece of salmon here. And uh, what we're about to do is uh, compose a salmon BLT for the most part. We have a uh, smoked pork belly that we've done here with uh, Lanyap Spices Backwoods Bourbon Rub and Pecan for the smoking. Uh, the salmon's fresh cut and we will be putting it on uh, John Genduze bread, and then we have a blackening seasoning, commercial blackening seasoning, and then we have a honey chipotle aioli that we make here in house. So let's get this started. First, we're going to start off with this pork belly. We're going to get it on the grill, get it on the on the under the press, so it's nice and warm through and through. Next, we need to season up our salmon here. Get a little blackening going on it. A little shot of some olive oil. And a little seasoning on both sides. Gotta have love on both sides. piece of salmon. A little shot of oil and a little flip. Get our pork belly rolled over. Ooh, it look good. It's a really, really quick sandwich. Genduze bread down. Throw a little bit of our honey chipotle aioli on both sides. Salmon done nice, super quick, super, super quick. Give our pork belly a little cut. That way you get a little bite in every bite. Take it over here and we'll dress it. And then like I say, it's a, it's a BLT, so we take some nice, crisp, fresh iceberg. Plenty of it. And big old pretty fresh vine ripe tomato. Pork belly BLT. Salmon BLT. You know, again, we have this, this centralized prep facility butcher shop thing going on, and it gives us a big advantage. For instance, if we only have one restaurant, First of all, we couldn't have this facility. Uh, second of all, as one standalone restaurant, we would have nothing to really do with this. And when I say this, I mean all these little pieces and scraps. But, you know, when you cut 12 or 16 or 20 loins of salmon, we're gonna have 12 or 16 or 20 times the amount of scrap. Um, and what we'd normally do is we will smoke this in our smoker and we will actually sm sell a smoked salmon dip here at the butcher shop to the re to the customers that come in and buy steaks and fish and fresh seafood um, so again it gives us an advantage it helps us keep the portion cost down on this uh, which again helps us sell it at a more competitive price in the restaurants 